Most people in life are looking at how do I make that life that's going to work for me. You make a life that works for you by listening to the Lord. When you listen to the Lord, you have magic, you have music, you have love, you have passion, you have reward. But when you choose your bodily functions based on what someone's gifting to you at this moment in time, what I'd like to ask you is he's going to be able to gift it to you for a lifetime. Because what you did was play, what you did was come to get laid, and what you did was failed to produce that love life. You failed and then you walked away like a coward. You fled and didn't play right. You didn't do things right. You didn't say things right. You didn't repair things right. You didn't do what God asked you to do. You didn't God do what God was telling you to do. And you literally lost yourself. So then you went off and you tossed yourself at the biggest man you could find. And now you've got six boys. Congratulations. But what are you going to do when it's your time? Who's going to look after you? Have you produced a love in your children so that they will look after you? Did you produce honorable young men or other shitbags like their father? You see, I can sit here and I can be upset, but I can also sit here and I can rebuke you for yet not understanding God's plan for your life. And when I rebuke, I have the right to rebuke because I'm the one who got hit. I'm the one who got abused. I'm the one who got molested. I'm the one who got used. And if I do it, I have the right to do it. But I'm going to tell you, motherfucking siblings, if you ever fuck in my life again without my permission, you'll be regretting it. It's not a threat. It's called self-defense. I have the right to defend my fucking life from idiots, from liars, cheats, and thieves.